Hey guys, it's the girl Victoria back to you with another review for Caught in the Act Unfaithful Season 3, Episode 2 called That's My Twin. And well, damn, it, it was. So, <laughs> we get introduced to Alex. You know, he's in a relationship with a girl named Lenise. Um, and what made her different from all the other girls he done messed with, talked to, and whatnot is that she didn't let him hit on the first night. So that to him meant that she was special. You know, she gave him the 90-day rule and whatnot. And even after the 90 days, after they started having sex, you know, things didn't change. You know, I guess it just got better. She has kids from a previous relationship. He has kids from a previous relationship. So they had like a blended family. And, you know, all seemed well until she started acting weird, you know, to the point where... Uh, the sex wasn't the same no more, you know, where he had to start asking for it. In the beginning, she was throwing it on him. But then it came to a point where it's like, she's not throwing it on him no more, so now he got to ask for it. And even when he asked for it, the sex don't feel the same like it did when they was, like, ravenous about each other. So, you know, uh, Alex is a twin. He got a twin brother named Tyler, and Lenise is a twin, too. So they, you know, have a lot in common, but... You know, since she's been switching up on him, he he trying to see what's going on. So, Tammy takes on the case. We get to, we going straight to it, okay? So, we got Kevin, he the PI for this case, okay? He doing a surveillance. Day one, she goes to her job where she works at a salon. And, um, oh, sorry. I, I was going on day two. But anyway, after work, she leaves work all dressed up and goes to a lounge. Um, and looks like she's having a girls' night, but then we see Alex pull up. But was it really Alex? No, it was his twin brother, Tyler. So then afterwards, she goes back home. Not really much to take from that. Then we get to day two. Day two, she goes to work again at the salon, and we see Alex bringing her um, flowers, donuts, and coffee. And, you know, he tries to hook up on her, touch her and stuff, but, like, she's kind of acting weird around him and like kind of pushes him off and even when he leaves she throws a flower in the trash and you know she's not really feeling him at that point in time why because his twin brother tyler also pulled up after alex left and you know when she went to go hug him she showed him all the energy you got tyler filling up on her booty and all that stuff so it's like okay maybe he making her feel better in bed than uh alex is and that's why she's not giving alex no play like she giving to tyler so I guess also um, later that night, she goes spend a nightcap with Alex. But then the next morning, you know, Alex and Tyler have a business together. Tyler gets a phone call that they need somebody to go out on the job. So Tyler sends out Alex to do the job. So that leaves Lenise and Tyler at the house. And, you know, they got the cameras in the house. So then we see them kind of making out on the couch. She getting on top of him. He's telling her to take her robe off or whatever. We see her chocolate booty cheeks all up on his lap and whatnot. And I'm just like, well, damn. I mean... They, they're identical twins. So this is one of those cases you can't be like, okay, well... You know, she she messing with somebody that look better than me because y'all look alike. So I mean, well, it's still effed up, but I'm just kind of like, well, you know, they they look alike. You know, and that's why I always be wondering about twins, identical twins like that. Like, you know, since if you with someone and they are not that I they're an identical twin. You're going to find that twin attractive. But, you know, you shouldn't act on it, Lenise. Anywho, so after all that said and done, we have Tammy and Kim meeting up with Alex to go over the footage. Right? Okay, cool. So then Alex is obviously distraught. You know, he kind of throw in the, his chair around and, you know, trying to put his shades on and, you know, all up in his feelings. Understandably so. And then, you know, when Ken is trying to talk to him, trying to, you know, from man to man, <laughs> you got Alex like, you know, do you got a twin brother? Ken's like, no. So Alex was like, well, then shut the fuck up because, you know, how would you feel if your brother went to do that? So Ken was like, obviously pissed. So, you know, Alex going to say whatever he feels. And, you know, I get it. We we all get it. You know, we can uh, sympathize and try to empathize. But, you know, unless we're actually in his shoes, we won't really truly feel those emotions that he's probably feeling. Okay, I get it. I, you're all in you all in your right to feel however you feel and act however you want to act. You know, as long as you don't act like Jessica from the last episode, I get it. All right. So in, in this case, the fact that you're acting more calm than Jessica and you have actual proof that, you know, she she acting with homeboy, your your brother. 
You know, you you didn't act as you had a little crazy, but not as crazy as crazy girl from the last episode. Anyway, so Tammy suggested him to do the takedown. He agrees, and we get to the takedown. Okay, so we got Lanise and Tyler. They're at a sports bar, and you know Tyler is filling up on her booty. He an ass man, clearly. You know, I don't know if Alex is an ass man, but Tyler for sure. For sure, an ass man, you know, he, he touched her all up on her booty, all up on the booty cheese, the whole circumference of the ass. And, you know, once Alex sees that, he's like, all right, I'm ready to go in to go see what's going on. So, uh, you got Alex walking up on them, Lenny standing up, looking scared as hell, Tyler looking all calm and stuff. I'm like, oh, this is Tyler playing all along. This, this was Tyler's, you know, concocted plan all along. So, therefore... I'm sorry, bro, but you had to find out one way or another. So might as well me the one who she messing with so I can let you know because I have proof because she effing me instead of, you know, me just saying something and you not believing me. So I had to show you proof that she really ain't shit by me effing with her. This is really like his excuse. He don't say this word for word. I'm paraphrasing, but this is like the attitude and energy that Tyler was bringing from the jump of when, when, he, when they got caught. So what you gonna call it? Tyler literally says, you know, he had to show him because he was trying, because Lenise was trying to take Alex from him. I'm like, are you in a relationship with your twin brother? Because if not, this is giving weird activity, Tyler. Weird activity, Tyler. This is your twin brother, bro. Y'all live together. Y'all have a business together. How she's stealing him from you exactly? Please explain. But then again, even when he tried to explain, I'm just like, bro, it just, it just sounds more weirder. As you try to explain this, like, bro, y'all family, bro, you come first, like, how long have he known you versus, and I get it, because, you know, one of my closest siblings, like, you know, when we're both not with no one, you know, we do everything together, but then when he gets a girlfriend and whatnot, then it's like, it's kind of like Victoria's put on the back burner, girlfriend's put on the front burner, which, that's to be expected, you know, even though I was in my little feelings, little beat, you know, with all his girlfriends and whatnot, but that's the course of life we're going to get in relationships and yeah we're not going to spend as much time with people as we used to but as long as you don't neglect them a hundred percent you know and i get it tyler don't got nobody so he really feeling you know that lenise is taking all of alex's time and stuff when he, alex is not working of course but you're gonna find someone too and you're gonna start, start spending time with them too so you know unfortunately you know Alex got to someone first before you did, but that doesn't mean that you're not going to, you know, be in that same situation. So the way you're going about being in your feelings is definitely wrong, just like Tammy told you. So, anywho, Tammy and Ken come out to try to talk to them and do damage control because at that point, you know, security was holding all three of them back, Tyler, Alex, and Lenise. And Tammy goes to talk with Lenise one-on-one. -on -one. Lenise immediately starts playing victim, saying, you know, they don't know her. They don't know what she's been through. Tammy's like, oh, you're not about to do this. You're not about to play this game. So they kind of go back and forth. And so Tammy kind of takes control of the uh, situation to tell her, like, okay, I apologize because I don't know you. So let's try this again. So Lenise explains that pretty much Tyler, you know, she loves them both. And Tyler's giving her what Alex can't, which is like his time. He's more softer with her versus Alex. And this, this, that. You can say all the excuses you want, but at the end of the day, you still treat the girl. I, I understand you don't want to be looked at as a bad person. Nobody does, you know. But at the end of the day, we got to take accountability for our shit. And, you know, meanwhile, on the outside, you got Ken talking with the twins and, you know, Tyler saying that Alex wanting to settle down hurts him. And it's like, look, bro, Tyler, you got to get out your feelings, bro, because you you nearly self-sabotaging your brother. And not saying that, you know, you wasn't right to because, you know, Lenise definitely took the bait way too easily. It kind of feels like. But you can't do this with all his relationships, bro. Eventually, he's going to get married. And you will, too. So it's like, allow your brother that chance to do that. Because, you know, he said he wants to do better. He wants to settle down. You want him to settle down with you because I'm sorry, y'all both straight. That's not going to work. You know, incest happens. Look, look, and I know people will be like, Victoria, where are you going with this? Incest happens. Do I agree with incest? No, because that's weird activity. So don't, don't, don't be, don't be thinking I condone this shit. But I'm just saying, like, unless you're trying to get with your brother, Tyler, like, what you're doing is detrimental to y'all relationship. Like, you, by you doing this, you're actually creating a wedge between y'all. Like, low-key, high-key. So, like, come on now, because at the end of the day, 
even though we see that Lamise ain't shit, you know, she cheating and all that stuff, but yeah, he gonna be more, Alex is more hurt, hurt by you because you're the brother, you're blood, bro, like, I would be more upset at my sibling, at my blood, at the person that I have more, like, loyalty to, you know, that I've known longer and stuff for betraying me versus someone I just met, well, you know, that I've been with, for, you know, for quite a bit of time or whatever, like, no, yeah, you're the more person that hurt him versus homegirl. So, like I said, Tyler, I don't understand this jealousy that she has to go through this route. Because it's like, unless you're trying to be with your brother, like, there was no need to do all this. Like, literally, there was no need to do all of this. Because at the end of the day, you y'all twins, bro. Like, y'all are the closest thing to each other that y'all have. Y'all, you always gonna be a part of his life no matter what. You always gonna be on speed dial for him. Like Tammy done said, like I don't gotta explain this shit to you. You knew what it was, but you just wanna be in your feelings because you just wanna be the end all be all because you don't got nobody. Let's be let's be honest about this shit. If you had somebody, you probably wouldn't be feeling the way you feeling. Would you, Tyler? But because you lonely, so now you want your brother to be lonely with you too. Misery loves company. Hello. So anyway, so after all that said and done, okay, cause. Uh, actually no that was it for that scene tammy pulls alex to talk with lanise so uh alex said if tyler still wants to keep effing with her then you know he's done for show and you know that's when they pull tyler to talk so tammy's talking with tyler and um alex and then you got ken going to talk with lanise so lanise is pretty much just asking ken and tammy to help her fix it mm, there's no fixing at this point girl. i'm sorry to tell you uh, you're a beautiful girl uh lanise but like let's let's just do better okay so back with tammy and the twins you know tammy is trying to tell tyler you know he's going to self-sabotage all his uh alex's relationships if he keeps going about it the way that he's going about it so tyler gets irate um and trying to say that tammy's trying to pull alex away from him too and i'm just like How so, Tyler? Like, sir, do you hear yourself right now? You, 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 you sound crazy as hell. So, you know, he's, you know, throwing his chair, pushing his chair back. Tammy had to kind of get up in his face, you know, because, you know, Sakira was holding back. So that was the only time she was really able to get in his face, you know what I'm saying, to let him know, like, listen, she's not the one, so to speak, you know, trying to warn him. So, you know, he does apologize. And, you know, they kind of get kind of somewhat cordial. So then that's when they pull Lenise in to talk with them. So everybody's there to talk. And Lenise says that she wants to be with Alex. Well, too bad, so sad. Alex said he don't know. And I'm just like, Alex, please, if you get back with this chick, I'm not going to have no respect for you. Not that you need my respect, but, like, it don't, it's not going to make any sense. It's not going to make any sense if you get back with her. So for you to say you don't know, it really should have been, like, you done from, like, from drunk, you know, once you found out what was going on. But, you know, maybe you didn't want her, her you didn't want to hurt her feelings right then and there. So you say you don't know. So Lenise is, you know, trying to, point fingers you know because she don't want all the heat to be on her so she's telling tyler that he needs to apologize to his brother tyler pretty much said he don't need to do shit especially in front of the cameras but he does say to alex that you know he shouldn't have went about it that way of what he done did so tammy said all right cool well you know my job here is done and you guys kind of figure out your shit i'll see you on three months so three months later you know, uh, Alex and Lenise broke up. They ain't together. We don't know if Tyler's still effing with Lenise. That was not really established. And, you know, according to Alex, the relationship with his brother is stronger. And his brother even came up on the, um, the camera. And all's well between the bros. Because, you know what? Bros before hoes. That's literally how the episode ended. Okay. Good. I'm glad you guys, you know, were able to reconcile your brotherhood and whatnot. You know, no offense, but F Lenise, you know, but I do hope she do better. Because, like I said, you're a beautiful girl. Like, you know, you clearly getting a man is no problem, you know what I'm saying? But, like, unless, you know, you want to mess with multiple men. If you want to mess with multiple people, fine. Just don't be in a relationship unless, you know, y'all all agree to, like, a poly relationship. Just do you, girl, and, you know, stop effing with, you know, people's brothers, especially twin brothers, because that's kind of, like, weird activity. Like, I'm pretty sure she had a fantasy. She wanted to get effed by both of them at the same time. I'm, I'm pretty sure. But let me stop talking, because I'm talking too much. I'm rambling at this point. So, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you laughed at least once, please subscribe. If you didn't laugh, come back tomorrow for the next episode. Hopefully, I can make you laugh then, so you can subscribe then, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Comment down below what you thought about this episode. Be easy, be easy, let me squeeze you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.